Grading an image module using Niagara AX Workbench. In this tutorial, we're going to follow these steps in creating an image module using the Niagara AX Workbench. Step one, we're going to create a new directory to house the components of our modules. Step two, we're going to use the new module wizard to create the initial files of our module. Step three, we're going to create two subdirectories in the root of our module. Uh, one being SRC, the other one being RES. Four, we're going to add our images under the RES directory. Five, we're going to add our resource directories to the build file in the workbench. Six, we're going to do an initial build of our module. Seven, we're going to add the images and folders to our module.palette file. Eight, we're going to do a final build of our module. Step one creating a directory for our module. You can place this directory any way you like as long as it's accessible by the Niagara AX Workbench. Later in this tutorial we're going to use the console window inside of the Niagara AX Workbench to compile or build our jar file. In doing so you're going to have to type out the full path to the module. So I suggest that you just place the directory in the root of a drive. With that said, let's get started building our module. I'm going to create my directory in the root of my C drive. To do this, I'm going to go to my Start menu, My Computer, double-click on Local C drive, right-click on any white space, select New Folder, and I'm going to give my folder a name of My Library. You can call your directory anything you like, as, as long as you avoid using any special characters like ampersands or such. From here I'm going to minimize this window. I'm not going to close it because I'm going to need it again shortly. Step 2. Use the new module wizard to create the initial module files. In this step we're going to use the Niagara AX Workbench new module wizard to create the initial files needed to create a module. We're going to create these files in the directory that we created in step 1. In the main toolbar under Tools, you'll find the new module wizard. Select it. In the Create Module under Directory dialog box, use the directory selector to choose the directory we created in Step 1. Once you have selected My Library in the directory selector, click the Choose button to select it. In the Module Name dialog box, type in Sample Module. Of course, this will be the name of our module. Next, in the Pervert Symbol dialog box, type in BS. In the Description dialog box, type in Sample Module. Finally, in the Vendor dialog box, type in buildingsmarter.com. We will want to create a palette for our module, so we need to select the radio button next to Create Palette. Then select Next. Select Next again. Finally, Select Finish to complete the wizard. In this step, we created the initial files for our module, which include the directory for our module, the build.xml, module include.xml, module.lexicon, and the module.palette file. Step 3 Creating the SRC and RES directories in our module. In this step, we're going to create two additional directories in our module directory. Now navigate back to your C drive and open up the My Library directory that we created in step one. Open the sample module directory that we created in step two using the new module wizard. Right click on any white space and select new folder. Name your new directory SRC. 
Now double click on the SRC directory that you just created to open it. Inside the SRC directory, click on any white space and select New Folder. Name this directory RES. Step 4. Adding images under the RES directory. In this step, we're going to add our images and additional directories to our RES directory. Double click on the RES directory to open it. To save time, I will just paste my images and directories in the RES directory. In this step, it's not important what's in the directories. What is important is the directories themselves. If you note, we have an image in the root of the RES directory, and then we have also two other directories, the green icon directory and then the MIS directory. Let's minimize this window and return to the Niagara AX. Step 5. Configure build.xml with resource directories. In this step, we're going to add the directories to our resources in the build.xml file. Click on the build.xml file to open it in the text editor. To save time, I will just paste in the directory paths to my resources. Now let's talk about what I just pasted into the build file. The first line is a comment. It's just a way of organizing the build file. It lets uh, people reading it know that this is where the resources start. The second line is for the resource bs.png that is in the root of the res directory. The asterisk dot asterisk uh, tells the compiler that you would like all the resources in this directory. The third line is for the resources in the res slash mis directory, pull station and thermometer.png. And of course the asterisk dot asterisk is at the end. Line four is the resource directory for the green icon home directory. That's the res forward slash green icons forward slash home. And of course there is a asterisk dot asterisk at the end to include all the files under the home directory. Now let's save our work by selecting the save icon. Now let's take a look at the directories themselves. In this step, we added our resource directories to our build file. It is important to note that if you do not add the resource directories to your build file, that the resources will not be added to the build of your module. Step 6. Initial module build. In this step, we're going to build our module so it will be easier to create the palette in the next step. To create a jar file in the Niagara AX Workbench, you must do it from the console window. In the main toolbar under Windows, you will find the console. Select it, or press F3 on your keyboard to open up the console. The console will appear at the bottom of your workbench. Click inside the console window to get a cursor. Type the keyword build, and then the path to your module. In my case, the path was C colon backslash my library. backslash sample module. Press the enter key on your keyboard to start the build process. After the build process is complete, you should see a success appear at the bottom of the output. If you do not see success, you should check the path to your module and try it again. To get your new module to show up in the list of available modules in the Niagara AX Workbench, you must restart your workbench to cause the registry to rebuild. Restart your workbench now.
Once Workbench is restarted and the nav pane expand my host, then my modules, you should see the new module we just created at the top of the list. And there it is, sample module. In this step, we did an initial build of our module. The purpose of doing this is to make it easier to find the paths to our resources when we build our palette.module file in the next step. Thank you.